hi everyone welcome back to another video if you're new or if you're stopping by for the first time please consider subscribing like share and comment on this video don't forget to press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back we have a good time on this channel and as you already see on the title i'm here to talk about what can you do if your application was rejected during a Qatar Airways interview or if you apply online and then your application was rejected you know when you get this email you see this email yeah I've been in that place before so make sure you watch this video till the end because I will explain in details on what you can do without wasting time let's jump into today's video <laughs> A lot of you have been applying for Qatar Airways or any airlines opening for cabin crew and ground staff. Let's say, for example, that I know Etihad, Fly Dubai, uh, Emirates, and Qatar Airways, the famous one, right? So, some of your application get rejected when you apply online simply because of maybe they get a lot of uh, applications or maybe. Uh, you didn't meet the criteria they are looking for so your application gets rejected even without any reason right and some of you also get lucky enough to be invited for interviews like to attend the interviews for opening position in case you're in a country that they have an opening and you are selected because for Kenyans you have to apply online for you to be invited for an interview but then again, in some countries, they just have walk-in, like they have an opening day for you to go and drop your CV. So if you're applying from Kenya, I know you have to apply online. If you see any openings, you apply for it and then you wait for them to invite you to attend their interview. So in case you've applied online and then you get rejected like you apply the first time and your CV got rejected it means that you didn't meet their criteria right so what can you do what are the things that you can do to reapply somebody asked me um, there was this question I got somebody asked me there was this question that I got someone asked I have a question is it necessary to wait for six months after an access um, is it necessary to wait for six months after an unnecessary attempt i mean like you've applied for it and then you didn't get i think this is what they mean um no you don't have to wait for six months to reapply again if you apply online and then your cv was not selected because you'll get us an email that will look like this if your cv was not selected you can immediately reapply again but first, before you reapply again, there are some things you need to do. You need to go back and check your CV and see what could be the reason for your application to be rejected, you know. So, um, for that, you need to go and watch some videos. I have a video that I've explained in details on how you can write a cabin crew CV. You go and watch that video. I will link it up here and then you see what are the mistakes you did and then reapply again so how can you reapply again do you have to wait for six months as this person has asked no you, you can definitely reapply again immediately and this is what you should do so the first email that you use to apply before don't use the same uh, email edit your cv again check the mistakes that you did with your cv because some of you just upload a CV you are applying for a cabin crew and then your CV is just full of um, different experience like let's say for example these are some of the reasons that your CV was not selected have experience of teacher experience of uh, an engineer and yet you're applying for a cabin crew of course that's the first reason your CV was not selected right so you have to always be careful about this to reapply again what you should do is for you to reapply again you have to get a new email update your cv and then reapply again trust you me i've done that and my cv was selected online before you reapply before you reapply again these are the key things you should check update your cv yes 
update your CV make sure I've always said this make sure you have something that shows that you've done customer service make sure you have something that shows that you've done hospitality at least even, even if you have an experience of engineer but then again try and show that you have an experience of uh, customer service try and show you have experience in customer service or hospitality that is the number one reason that your CV was not selected online right and to reapply again get a new email because you know once you apply for Qatar Airways they will definitely have your number you know that there's a number you always get your ID number if you'd use the same email to reapply again that ID number will still be appearing 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 that's why you find that every time you apply you apply after one trial you keep getting uh, you know negative feedback negative feedback oh sorry we will consider you next time sorry we'll consider you next time so the next time you're reapplying again make sure you have a different email so that your id number will not be the same because if you have the same email then it will be easier for them to know this is the same person try this method because i've tried it before when i was reapplying i had to get another email to reapply again and my CV was selected and I, I attended the interview do this and you don't have to wait for I don't know 60 days and make sure like I said you watch this video that I was talking about how you can write your uh, cabin crew CV or customer service whichever um, position you are applying for Qatar Airways or whichever position you are applying for any airline you have to make sure you you meet their criteria okay guys i hope you've watched this video till the end if you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up like share and comment and let me know on the comment section what you want to see next bye